Hi, I'm Michelle Granger, and I just found out about the iPad, and it sounds like it's going to be a really nice device. I think it's a lot better looking at newspapers or books than the iTouch or the iPhone, which I think is really hard because you've just got to keep scrolling too much. See, I think, to me, this would be perfect for taking to a oh, yeah. lecture or yeah. course, and you can take so notes right away, and it's going to be a faster interface. You're not oh, using sure. a pen scriber. Uh, my name is Tom Evans. Um, looking at the uh, the iPad. Um, reasons I'm looking for the iPad is to help me with uh, my company, uh, so I don't have to carry around my laptop. It'll be nice just to have something that's a little bit smaller, a little bit lighter. It does all the features. It'd be nice to have just one thing that does everything. Yeah. And the the price tag is, is pretty nice. Instead of buying another laptop, I can just buy it. I don't really need CD-ROM or DVD player. As long as it has Wi-Fi and internet access, I'm good. Battery time? Ten hours. You make it full of through and full use, like you could just non-stop use it for ten hours. Said web surfing for ten hours. I'm not completely impressed. I want to see where it goes. It, Steve said that he thought it was going to be somewhere between the iPhone and a MacBook. I think it's closer to the iPhone without a phone.